If you want to get your weekly dose of speed, adrenaline, and fun, then Nine TV's newest motoring show, Drive, is just what you're looking for. And to tell us more about this high octane show, we have today with us here on Daybreak the host, James Deacon. Good morning, Hi, James. How are you? Great, Great you? you. It's been a while. Oh, I'm so I'm, I'm so good. <laughs> I'm just so happy that the show is finally it's it's going on air. Yeah, I mean this has been a while in you know yes. in the in the the creation, the process of it all, and, and to really see it come into fruition is like, must be such an amazing oh, feeling Oh yeah, for you. I mean, it's, uh, I'm, it's like giving birth. <laughs> wow, <laughs> the closest, okay. I'm the closest I can get to giving birth. Um, Have you this, asked your wife exactly uh, no, no, what I it's like? <laughs> I, I, you know, doing this, I mean, like, uh, well, giving birth to nine months gestation sure. period. This was over 12 months. This was like almost, it was wow. a year and a bit. Mm -hmm. And um, because we, we, we filmed some episodes and then it got moved and then this and then that. But then at least those episodes were airing or the segments were airing throughout yeah. the, the channel. Mm -hmm. But now a uh, full-blown one-hour show on a Sunday night and it's branded and everything, it feels so good. Congratulations. I mean, I can't, I can't think of a better person to host oh, a show like this because in the, in the 10 years, almost 10 years that I've known you, you have lived and breathed cars. You are the go-to guy for cars and anything you say about cars, I will believe. <laughs> so would you consider this as work? I mean, this must not be like work to you. Um, well, yeah, I'd be, I'd be lying if I said it did feel like work because it's what I love to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, to, to be able to indulge yourself and do a job that you love, uh, that's already a blessing in itself. Uh, but yes, there is a lot of work doing it. I mean, to, to you, there's nothing against having fun doing it, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of work doing it. The actual it. legwork. The actual legwork, the actual filming, the actual, um, you know, the production values. I was very, uh, the team were very, very mm -hmm. finicky about that. Yeah. They said, you know, you're, when you're presenting a car, it really needs to be presented properly. Right. Because these are luxury items or they are high ticket items and mm -hmm. they are things, aspirational things. Sure. You can't, you have to make them you know, in, the, in, the, in all their glory, make them look as good as possible. I mean, not, when I say look as good as possible, eye candy. Mm, yes. We're going to be honest about the cars. Mm -hmm. um, and each car has a different thing that we need to talk about. And, but we want to present it visually in the best possible way. Yeah, and you, you guys feature cars from across the board. You've got luxury cars, European made, American made, and, and you have the more accessible ones for us common Yes, folk. I want to make that clear, by the way. Um, <laughs> I have to make that clear because a lot of people were saying, Wow, you had a, like a Rolls Royce, you had a Ferrari, you had the, uh, all these. Don't you ride a Marinello at some point somewhere? I saw your pictures, you were in Italy. Exactly, oh my so, but people are like thinking, this is just, you know, it's two way out for us. But no, I mean, uh, I think we're, we're filming a segment right now on the budget cars, like the Wego, the Brio. Nice. And the Mitsubishi Mirage. He said that you can't get more entry level than that. Sure, yeah. So we are going to tackle as much as possible. Um, I think the, the center of the show, it's, it's going to be consumer driven. Mm -hmm, it's eye candy, but it's consumer driven. Um, and we don't just want to tackle basic test drives and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. We want to tackle issues because motoring has exploded since I've joined. Um, when I first joined in 2001, I think they were selling 65,000 cars a year. Mm, okay, and Now that we're has... well over 250 or something like that. So you can see, but with that comes other issues. I sure. mean, where are these cars going? I mean, we didn't, we didn't build four times more many roads, mm -hmm. so we like to tackle issues as well. I think that's very important mm -hmm. in the show. We have a segment called Drive By. Right, I wanted to ask about that. And ride review, rider review? Ride review is yeah. basically, yeah, we'll, we'll give mm -hmm. you our take mm -hmm. on, on the cars. And, and in the drive by segment. The is drive by, I, I, I really wanted to lobby for that because um, I do, I do feel very strongly and passionately about motoring issues mm -hmm. because we all have to share the road. Sure. So there's the, I, I like to advocate responsible motoring. So I love cars um, as much as the next guy, probably <laughs> more, but I want to promote responsible motoring because we, we need, like I said, to share the roads. We have to promote discipline, yeah. road safety, uh, road courtesy mm -hmm. and things like that. And if we can use the show and use the, the reach of the show to perhaps influence government to make changes yeah. that help more people. Because traffic, I mean, how can you really enjoy your car if you're always stuck in traffic? Yes, it's a big sigh so, for all of us. So, you know, with drive-by and stuff like that, we'll be tackling issues that, you know, really affect you. And perhaps um, if the show's popularity gets that's good enough and there's enough followers, mm -hmm. um, we'll be able to have the influence to be able to shape policies like how to improve traffic. There's mm -hmm. so many things that we can do that I don't think the, the government has really thought of. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're always, they, they seem to always be picking on the private motorists here, but... Yeah. Uh, 
I, as a private motorist, I mean, and we get to travel around the world, you see other models working. Mm -hmm. So I want to bring that experience back and share it on the show. That is fantastic. And you also help educate other people who are watch who will be watching the show and are watching right now about, you know, maybe we've been doing things the wrong way. Maybe there are certain rules we thought we had to follow or that we haven't been following. Absolutely. Right? I mean, you know, like a, 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 an example of that would be um, little things like when it rains. Oh, driving puts with your blink. Oh, yeah. yes. I mean, little things like that. That, you know, if we put it on the show and say, you know, politely, that's not what the mm -hmm. it's designed for. Mm -hmm. That is a hazard light. You put that when you are stationary you're and stalled, you, yeah. you are a hazard on the road. That's right. Uh, not because you want to be seen more, <laughs> uh, but that's the idea that people press Or you it. want people to get out of your way because you you're people, in a rush. Yeah, they, they, they use it for three things. They use it, they want people to get out of the way because yeah. they're in a hurry. They want to use it um, because they want people to see them in the rain because yeah. it's like, ah, nobody can see me. I want, I want to be visible. Um, yes, but you're no different to every other car right now, uh -huh. including the one that's stranded that mm -hmm. has these hazard lights on but he's no different we don't know if you're going left or right yeah and what's um, the third one then the other one is um when they're waiting when you're waiting yeah when they're parked does not make sense oh actually there's a fourth <laughs> one it's it i call it the uh, force field the invisible the force, force field. field okay yeah when they want to do something illegal they press that like when they counter flow oh, oh they yeah. say pack they press their lights it's like they've got this force field around their car and oh, then they're goodness. the ones angry when you when you get head on with them they say i had my hazards on yeah yeah, yeah. doesn't make it legal it's not a badge it doesn't make it legal it's yeah. fantastic your show sounds completely encompassing and you cover everything from you know from from eye candy like you said to reviews and like education and knowledge and I think it's great that you make it so accessible to common men when we also I should also say and point out that we are going to try and be as interactive as possible Perfect. I mean using all the social media platforms plus uh, my web page mm -hmm. and uh, we want people to be able to interact with mm -hmm. us and be accessible because it's really, we, we want to keep our finger on the pulse. You How know? do they follow you on social oh, media? Uh, we have a Facebook page that we just started, so it's, it's kind of young, but I think it's it's already got like 200 likes or something like that. Uh, it's um, Drive on 9 TV. So okay. look for that. If you get confused, you can also just look for my name, James Deacon, mm -hmm. and I'll link you up to the page. Awesome. No problem. I'm Any on Facebook, Twitter, Twitter, I'm Twitter Instagram, at, same same address, at same handles. Deacon seventy two um, for that. And but if you go to the, either my website, jamesdeacon.ph, or the Facebook page, you'll find me. Perfect. And it airs every Sunday at nine p.m. only on Nine TV. Thank you so much. The time is too short every time we talk, but it's great to have you on the show. And uh, I wish you all the best. This show is going to be just. It's going to go different. I hope directions so. and I really reach new so. heights. Thank you so much for Thank being you, here, Hillary. James. Good to see you again. There you have it, James Deacon of Drive.